Don't buy crypto until you watch this video. My name is Ivan. I'm an investor and a businessman. I have six projects in crypto, IT, and artificial intelligence fields. And while I am working right now, my digital clone is recording this video for you. I personally double-checked all the information. The future is already here. In one of my videos, I mentioned that 9 out of 10 crypto novices lose money, and these are real statistics. You can buy crypto for a variety of reasons, to make money and to invest, to transfer money abroad without restrictions and commissions, or to protect your money from inflation, total surveillance, and a banking system that loses more than $9 billion a year to fraudsters due to lax security. But when you buy crypto, you are not given the basic knowledge of the rules that will help you save, multiply, and sell it. I have experience investing in crypto, losing half a million dollars and then earning several times that amount. I have tried many different ways to make money in crypto. I was a beginner myself and I won't lose anything by helping someone to enter the world of crypto and become that one in 10 who earns. Here are only facts and pure knowledge for you. Sign up if you're interested in crypto and I will get started. So here is your checklist before buying cryptocurrency. And the first thing you need to do is study crypto and relate it to your needs. I will try to help you with studying the crypto by making videos on this channel. You should study the coin you are going to buy and think about how exactly you will buy it or why you choose exactly it because each has its own characteristics, advantages and disadvantages as well as its own price dynamics. By knowing all of these factors and deciding on what you want, you will get really valuable information. For example, you want to store or transfer money to other countries. Then a stable coin or a cryptocurrency that is directly backed by real dollars in the bank is right for you. These are coins such as USDT or USDC, whereas cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and ETH are better suited for investing. The second point on your checklist is to know exactly how you will buy the crypto. You can use a crypto exchange directly. Here you will pay a small fee, but you need to learn the interface yourself. But the exchange has restrictions on the number of coin types as well as the amount of crypto. For example, if you want to buy crypto for about over $2,000, you will need the help of another person. This method is called peer-to-peer -peer exchange. In this case, the exchange acts as an intermediary and guarantees the security of the exchange. There are also offline exchanges, but they are illegal in some countries. I made a separate video about other details of buying crypto. I recommend watching it. The third point on the list is to think through your investment strategy if you're going to do it. Cryptocurrency has a high degree of profitability and therefore a high degree of risk and investors should be prepared for possible losses. You need to assess your risks and know how to manage them accordingly. In the future, I will make a separate video for investors. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. The fourth point is the choice of cryptocurrency storage methods. You need to know how to store cryptocurrency safely so as not to lose it or become a victim of cybercrime. And of course, I don't recommend leaving your crypto at the exchange where you bought it or invested it in something. Your crypto should always be with you. This is one of the most important security rules. I say this as someone who lost over half a million dollars at the beginning of my journey due to poor knowledge of crypto security. And to make it convenient for you to work with crypto, store and transfer it, the basic recommendation is to use a cryptocurrency wallet, an application on your phone or PC. I've made a separate video for you where I compared several wallets and chose the most convenient and most importantly, the safest ones. Finally, the fifth point is knowing how you are going to withdraw the cryptocurrency if you need to. For example, you know exactly that you want to have on hand the kind of crypto you can withdraw quickly. Then Bitcoin or ETH, the most famous cryptocurrencies, do not suit you. After all, Bitcoin can handle 7 transactions per second and ETH can do about 15. So when tens of thousands of users all of a sudden start transferring, for example at the launch of a new trendy NFT collection, a kind of tickets to private clubs with their own privileges, such as access to a private chat room for crypto investors. In such cases, a queue of transactions forms in the network. Of course, no one wants to wait in line for a few minutes or hours. That is why users begin to raise fees. Since everyone does this, the increase in commissions is very steep, quick, and painful. For example, in May 2023, you would pay between $20 and $50 for a quick Bitcoin transfer. So there are just a few points, but each requires studying. Crypto is not complicated, but you need to spend time learning the ropes. My channel is specifically for beginners. I'm acting as a guide for beginners because I was a beginner myself. I used to lose money and no one helped me. So hopefully, now the road to the world of cryptocurrency has become more comprehensible for you. Watch this video again, or just write a comment if something remained unclear to you. Be sure to leave a like under this video if you liked it, and move on to other useful videos. I recommend specifically these two videos to start with.